फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट अर्लियर हेयर टू ए सेवन वॉज ग्रांटेड बेल बाय द हाई कोर्ट वाइड ऑर्डर डेटेड ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू द सेड ऑर्डर वॉज चैलेंज्ड बाय द अपीलांट कंपलिनेंट बिफोर दिस कोर्ट वाइड ऑर्डर डेटेड फोर्टीन अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू दिस कोर्ट कैंसल्ड द बेल ग्रांटेड टू वसीम ऑब्जर्विंग दैट इट वॉज अपारेंट फ्रॉम ए पेरूजल ऑफ द ऑर्डर डेटेड ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू पास्ड बाय द हाई कोर्ट दैट वसीम वॉज ग्रांटेड बेल ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ अ को ऑर्डिनेट बेंच ग्रांटिंग बेल टू हिज फादर वाइड ऑर्डर डेटेड फोर्थ ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू सिंस द ऑर्डर पास्ड इन फेवर ऑफ हिज फादर वॉज सेट असाइड बाय दिस कोर्ट वाइड ऑर्डर डेटेड थर्टी सेप्टेंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू द बेल एप्लीकेशन फाइल्ड बाय वसीम बिफोर द हाई कोर्ट वॉज रेस्टोर्ड फॉर फ्रेश कंसिडरेशन एंड एक्सपीडिटियस डिस्पोजल प्रेफरेबली विद इन अ पीरियड ऑफ वन मंथ फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ रिसीट ऑफ द कॉपी ऑफ द सेड ऑर्डर इट इज एक्सपीडियंट टू एक्सट्रैक्ट बिलो द रेलिवेंट पार्ट ऑफ द ऑर्डर डेटेड थर्टीथ सेप्टेंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू passed by a division bench of this court of which one of us was a member overturning the order passed by the high court granting bail in favor of niyaz ahmed at the outset it needs to be noted that this court has had occasion to peruse a succession of orders by the same judge of the high court of judicature at allahabad which were challenged in special leave petitions before this court containing identical reasons as recorded above for the grant of bail as a matter of fact in the counter affidavit which has been filed by the first respondent the fact that similar orders have been passed by the single judge has been relied upon though with the submission that the first respondent should not be penalized for the high court's failure to record adequate reasons the first respondent in the course of his counter affidavit states as follows in fact the present case is not the only case in which so called reasons are not assigned by the honorable high court while granting bail there are many other cases also in which the same or similar orders were passed by the honorable high court and perhaps will be passed in future as well therefore the respondent number 1 may not be penalized for something on which he has no control at all and it is the judicial discretion of the honorable high court to give reasons or not to give reasons while granting bail the manner in which the single judge of the high court has disposed of the application for bail is unsatisfactory in determining as to whether bail should be granted in a matter involving a serious criminal offence the court is duty bound to consider the seriousness and gravity of the crime the role attributed to the accused the likelihood of the witnesses being tempered with if bail is granted the likelihood of the accused not being available for trial if bail is granted and the criminal antecedents of the accused in successive orders the single judge of the high court granted bail containing the same sentence purportedly of reasons merely recording that the court has had regard to the nature of the accusation the severity of the punishment in the case of conviction the nature of sporting evidence prima facie satisfaction of the court in support of the charge reformative theory of punishment and the larger mandate of article 21 is not a satisfactory method for the simple reason that the facts of the case have to be considered moreover 
not all the circumstances referred to above will weigh in the same direction the duty to consider the circumstances of the case cannot be obviated by setting down legal formulations stop